This is Twit. Joe's on the line from uh, Marlboro, New Jersey. Hello, Joe. Hi, Leo. Thanks for hanging on. Thanks for taking my call. What is up? What can I do for you? All right. Um, you know how you say that people say that their iPhone is full up, it's time to get a new one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm at that crossroads. Uh, I plan to get another one because this one's kind of long in the tooth. It's a 6 plus. Oh, yeah, it's time. Yeah, I replaced my mom's uh, 6 plus this year. Yes, it's it's time. The Six only years. thing I wanted to do is I wanted to save um, messages. I have 18 gigabytes worth of messages, and I wanted to save them to my Mac. No wonder your phone's full. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things. You don't realize how much is there. Of yeah. Television. Yeah. You never delete a message. Now, are you using Apple's messages for this? Yes. Okay. So that's an easy solution. Uh, if you had a third-party messenger like WhatsApp, then you'd have to investigate ways to do that. But there is in on the iPhone there's a setting for messages to save them to iCloud. Now you have now that 16 gigabytes will overwhelm your free iCloud, so you're gonna have to pay for that. All right, I have 50 gigabytes, and I could take some things out of there. That's so that's one way, and I turn that on because then. Messages are on my desktop. They're on my phone, so I can and I can use Apple's messages on my desktop now uh, to respond to a phone message. So I like them to synchronize, and that's a feature you could turn on. You have to turn on on the desktop as well as on the iPhone. Sure. But if you don't want to do that, there are also programs that will back up your messages, and you know because you. <laughs> You have a free synchronization capability built into the Mac. People sometimes balk when I tell them uh, this is a $50 program. But if you think about how much you're spending for iCloud backup and you want to have a third-party backup that really works, I love this. It's called iMazing. All right. iMazing.com. And, uh, yeah, I, I was a little – it's like 50 bucks. I, I don't even need this. But – it does keep all your iPhone messages. Okay. Um, so, and they're then backed up to your computer. So if you didn't want to use the iCloud method, this this is, a, and it, by the way, I think it's a very good way to back up your phone. I, I actually prefer it. Okay. And I'm not too adverse to spending some money. I did look at a thing called um, MacroPlant puts it out. It's called... Yeah. I'm, I'm 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 not quite sure what the name is. Um, I explore. Yeah, I explore. I've used for years. That's designed to do the one-time transfer, and it works. I would I would say get if if it's a choice between I explore, which I used for years, and I amazing. I explore is forty bucks. Spend the ten bucks more. Okay. Um, now there's an issue here. Um, when I go to iExplore in there, um, I guess this is a, a demonstration. Yeah, they have a free demo. I've yeah. got my messages, and it says this backup is encrypted. Now, from poking around, it I, I've tried to do certain things, and it tells me to put in my keychain password. <laughs> I never established a keychain password. Well, believe it or not, you did. <laughs> you just didn't know it. The keychain password is the same as your login password. So Log into the computer. Yeah. So by default, the keychain is set up automatically when you set up your Mac OS, and by default, it uses your Mac OS login as its login. That's how it unlocks the minute you log into the Mac and stays unlocked. You can change that, and there are people who change it, but then you better remember it because situations like this. But right now, it's the same as your login, unless you haven't changed. You've changed it. Okay, so then get one of those programs. 
go to the keychain and you won't for i amazing you won't have to do that i don't think you'll do a new backup and then it will all be there by the way a good choice for moving to a new phone you do the i amazing backup and then you can blast it onto the new phone apple does this too i just i i amazing has some nice features that make it for me made it worth the 50 bucks right and when i store this in the cloud um I amazing yeah. stores it locally which is good oh okay uh, the iCloud solution is Apple's built-in solution. And I have to say, they've gotten better and better. At this point, when I get a new iPhone, I, do, I don't do a local backup. I used to always do a local backup and restore because I thought that's faster and better. The, the iCloud backup now is so good that I, it's much easier just to say, yeah, restore from my iCloud backup. But you have to have enough storage there. And now that the phones are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, that my, oh. <laughs> Apple's Apple's iCloud is is not uh, cheap. It's not the cheapest of the cloud storage. So if you don't want to do the cloud, iMazing does it all locally on your Mac. You do need a Mac to use iMazing. So that's yeah. If, if I send it to the cloud, I'll be able to retrieve all of the photos that were sent in those messages. You have to turn on yes, all the data in the messages. Yes. Okay. Okay. But I again spend the fifty bucks. You'll be glad. I intend to spend um, a lot of money and get another. Yeah, you're spending a thousand bucks on a new phone. <laughs> Don't cheap out. Although, I, again, it's a little pricey given that this is replacing something Apple does for free. I just it, it was worth it for me for the for the additional features and the convenience. Yeah, I I think that's a wise choice to get yeah. the software and go from there. Yeah. Hey, appreciate the call. Thank you very much. Sir. Thanks, Joe. Have a good one. It, th I just saw a study that said people are getting a lot more storage on their phones. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the, this is from CounterPoint Research. And that iPhone 6 you got, the average uh, was about 48 gigabytes on the phone. And that's probably because most, you know, it was a split between 64 and 32 in fact, that's exactly right, isn't it? <laughs> uh, that half the people bought 64 gig phones, which at that time seemed big, and half 32. And I think for a lot of people, if you do use the cloud, 64 is enough. But now, with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the average is 140 gigabytes. And Samsung Galaxies aren't far behind. The average is 95.7. So people are, people are starting to put a lot more storage in their phone. I think that reflects a number of things. Of course, the fact that we are taking a lot more pictures and even videos, you you want that storage on the phone to store those. And the picture pixel size and the video size is getting bigger and bigger. But I think also uh, people are using their phones more like their main computer, frankly. And so having more storage is uh, it's not a bad idea. It's, it's interesting. It's, it's, it's really, it's almost tripled from what it was in uh, six years ago on the iPhone six era.